when I was in medical training in Scotland, we used to spend hours with couples trying to conceive, trying desperately to interpret basal body temperature charts. The woman would measure her temperature every morning and plot that result on a graph, and then these would be brought to clinic in, in, in books, and you'd have to look through these measurements to try and identify the fertile day. The problem is that people's basal body temperature wobbles around quite substantially and it's not always possible to see exactly the right pattern with a dip and then a rise in temperature to identify when ovulation occurred. The important day is the day of the dip. Many people can see a rise in temperature but by then it's too late, the egg is already ovulated, is no longer fertile. You have to take your temperature absolutely first thing in the morning before you move out of bed, before you go to the toilet. That's not always easy to do, and even in some people, rolling over in bed to pick up the thermometer is enough to push the temperature up, and then the result is lost. In modern practice, we've given up asking people to measure their basal body temperature. It causes a great deal of stress and confusion, people then hitting the wrong day of the month, getting very upset later when they're not pregnant, and I think in, the t in this century and in this decade, it should be a thing of the past.